Welcome back to Ochki Chop. Lara here, and today Mrs. Mamigonyan is going to teach us how to make apricot sandwich cookies, also known as sabla cookies. These cookies are so tender and just melt in your mouth. So, let's get started. To begin making the cookies, start by creaming together the butter and sugar. Pour two cups of powdered sugar in a mixing bowl, followed by one pound of softened butter. It may seem like a lot of butter and sugar, but this recipe makes about 80 cookies. She is mixing this together with her hands, but you could just as easily use an electric mixer to make your job easier. Keep stirring the butter and sugar together until you have a cohesive mixture. Then, in a separate bowl, combine 4 cups of flour and 1 packet of vanilla sugar. You can also use 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract and an optional quarter teaspoon of salt which I think balances the cookies well. Begin slowly incorporating the dry mixture into the butter and sugar and continue mixing. Once almost all the flour has been added, Mrs. Mamigonyan likes to take her gloves off because she can feel if the mixture needs more or less flour. A good gauge of knowing if you need to add a bit more flour is if the dough is too sticky. Add 3 tablespoons of the alcohol of your choice. We used vodka, and then combine. We ended up adding about 4 tablespoons of additional flour to get the desired consistency. You notice it more when you try to lift the cookie off the sheet once it's been rolled out. If it sticks or falls apart, you may need to add more flour. Add only a little at a time, because too much flour isn't good either. This is what your dough should look like when it's ready. Now, prep your baking sheet with parchment paper and spray oil onto it. Then, get your cookie cutters. Here we are using a 1 inch fluted cookie cutter for the outer layer and a sewing thimble for the inner circle. Use a sheet of plastic to roll the dough out. This is to prevent the dough from sticking to the counter or having to use excess flour to roll out the dough, which may change the texture of your cookies. Roll out the dough until about a quarter inch thick. Then, use the fluted cookie cutter to cut out the base of your cookies. These will not have a hole in the center. And place them on your lined baking sheet. Once you've made roughly 40 base cookies, which will all fit in a half sheet pan, it's now time to make your cookie tops. Continue with the same process. Except this time, after punching the dough with the one inch fluted cookie cutter, Go back and using the sewing thimble, punch out a hole in the center. Make sure you have the same amount of tops and bottoms for your cookies. These cookies don't spread much at all when baking, so don't be afraid to lay them next to one another on the baking sheet. Once all the cookies have been rolled out and cut, bake them in a 315 Fahrenheit degree oven for about 20 minutes. You want to pull them just before they start to turn golden brown. There should be almost no color on them, which is what gives them a soft and tender texture that is absolutely delicious. Now that the cookies are cooled slightly, but still a little bit warm, use a sieve to sprinkle powdered sugar on only the cookie tops. Doing this when warm ensures the sugar will adhere to the cookie, but if you do it when it's too hot, the sugar will just melt onto your cookie. Once the cookies are completely cooled, we can begin turning them into sandwiches. Grab a cookie base, the one without a hole in the center, and spread a small spoonful of filling into the center of the cookie. We are using apricot jam, which has a slight tartness to it that pairs well with the sweet cookie. But you can really use any type of spread of your choice. Make sure to keep the filling in the center because when you put the top of the cookie on, the filling will spread out to the edges and you don't want it to overflow. And that's really all there is to it. Continue spreading the filling onto your cookies until you've completed them all. These cookies are delicious on their own or with a cup of coffee or tea. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.